Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, you guys. We got to talk about this whole Kevin Hunter, Wendy Williams situation. I told y'all, T. Girl Diamonds try to warn y'all. I told y'all, Kevin Hunter is petty as fuck, okay? And all his damn pettiness is coming out. If y'all do not know, Kevin Hunter's big biscuit head ass, he is basically demanding, okay? Demanding child support and alimony from Wendy Williams, okay? This was in response to her divorce petition. In the divorce petition, Wendy talked about how he cheated on her, got another woman pregnant. She just wants to be divorced from him and done. And so in response to this, he's now filing for child support and spousal support. And a lot of folks are saying that's bullshit, which I definitely agree with. And they're saying that, you know, he won't get that. Well, now a lawyer is speaking out and they're talking about the laws in New Jersey. And unfortunately for Wendy, Kevin may walk away with that money. This is what this lawyer is saying, okay? So New Jersey attorney Peter G. Azis exclusively told Hollywood Life that there are chances of her having to pay up. New Jersey is a no-fault state. He explains this. The fact that he got another woman pregnant while still married to her will have no financial effect on what he's entitled to. He says referring to the cheating scandal surrounding Kevin. The attorney also explains that there's different types of alimony. Kevin requested rehabilitative alimony. That is when one party has to essentially get back on their feet. It's a typical situation where one party has been the caregiver and the other party has been the breadwinner. It's usually when one party needs to reintegrate into the workforce after being out of work for an extended period of time. Remember that in New Jersey, parties are expected to live the same or a similar lifestyle divorced as they did married. Permanent alimony is a financial award that goes on indefinitely. Not only did Kevin request spousal support, he also sought child support money for his ex as well. The couple shares son, Kevin Hunter Jr., who is 18 and will be 19 in August. So if their teenage son is now an adult, why would Wendy be forced to pay child support? Well, the lawyer explains this. In New Jersey, child support does not terminate once a child reaches the age of majority. As long as a child is enrolled in college and does not have gainful employment, they will be entitled to child support. A divorce could be better for the child if the parent initially has no intentions of paying tuition. A divorce could technically force the parent into sharing tuition costs. So as you guys have guessed, Wendy has to be really pissed off about this. The thing that really bothers me with this situation is that this is such a slap in the face to Wendy. Now, two weeks ago, your big biscuit head ass was apologizing for your infidelity. You were apologizing for embarrassing your wife. And once she basically did not bow down to what you wanted her to bow down to, and she proceeded to go on with the divorce, now your ass is being petty, Kevin, okay? My thing is, you want to knock up this chick, Sharina, that's been your side chick for the past 10 damn years, you now have your own built-in family. How about you and Sharina go get a fucking job and leave Wendy the hell alone, okay? Because last time I checked, Wendy cut you a cool $10 million check, okay? That is more than enough money for you to live on. That is more than enough money for you and Sharina to trick off and live y'all's best life. Him doing this to Wendy is just showing how petty and how greedy and how spiteful he is, okay? This is a man who ruined his marriage. He knocked up his side piece, but now you're trying to punish Wendy. And if you remember, a lot of people were saying he didn't deserve that money. He shouldn't have got the 10 million. And he definitely did deserve that money because he helped to start the show. He created it. He was a producer. He did a lot to get that show off the ground. So I definitely agreed with him getting that money because that was his baby. That was his brainchild. He was the driving force behind Wendy Williams, okay? And Wendy also agreed. Hence why she decided to cut him a check for $10 million. Not $1 million, but $10 million, which is more money than most of us will ever see in a lifetime. So for him to be cut a $10 million check only for him to turn around and still be petty and try and get spousal support and got the nerve to try and get child support. It just says a lot about this man. And I'm glad that Wendy Williams has, you know, basically cut him off and that she's divorcing him. But unfortunately for her, the state that she lives in, they may force her to pay this idiot, you know, the spousal support and possibly the child support. Eh. Eh. 
which to me is just ridiculous because I'm sure that Wendy would be covering her son's tuition anyways. You know what I mean? Without her having to be summoned and petitioned through the courts, I'm sure she was going to be the one covering, you know, Kevin Jr.'s tuition anyways. I doubt Kevin Sr. was going to be covering that shit. He needs to worry about damn Pampers and baby formula. So this entire situation is just sad. And I think, you know, the more stories come out like this, is what turns people away from wanting to be married. Because it's almost like, is it even worth it? We hear men talk about this all the time, that for some men it's not worth it to be married, especially if you have money, because who the hell wants to work hard their whole life only when you go through a breakup for somebody literally walk away with half. And some of these people who are walking away with half a check didn't even do anything, didn't even contribute to the wealth. But then they're able to walk away with alimony and spousal support and everything else. And I've noticed in many cases where the women happen to be the breadwinners, they definitely get drugged through spousal support and the alimony court and everything else. And I just find that really damn ridiculous, you know. So this whole situation is sad. I feel bad for Wendy because she tried to do the right thing, you know. She could have been, she could have played hard ass and said, you know what, I'm not giving you shit. You're going to have to fight for this money in court. But she didn't do that. She cut him a check for $10 million, thought that that would keep him out of her wig and out of her damn pockets. But obviously it wasn't enough for greedy ass Kevin Hunter. So hopefully this comes back to bite him in the ass. But again, with them living in New Jersey, I don't know. You know, from what the lawyer is saying, Kevin may have a case because of the laws in New Jersey. Does it make it ethically right? No. Does it make it morally right? Absolutely not. You know, but again, the law is the law. So that's going to be really messed up if she ends up having to pay this man who cheated on her and had a damn side baby on her. So basically... Kevin and Sharina are once again eating off of Wendy, living their best life off of Wendy. Meanwhile, she's just trying to maintain her sanity. So I just find this whole situation just disgusting and re damn ridiculous. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Kevin Hunter, basically trying to take Wendy to the cleaners for her money by trying to get her for alimony, you know what I'm saying, child support and all types of foolishness, as if he wasn't just cut a $10 million check not even two weeks ago. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces.